So today we are going to discuss PPPoE that stands for Point to Point Protocol over Ethernet. For explanation purpose, I have given two networks here. For instance, this this one network and the second network. And these two networks are connected with the help of routers and they are using Ethernet link over here. So network, network and Ethernet link has been established in between these two routers. Now the concept of PPPO is that it will create a virtual tunnel or a virtual link which will support PPP link on, on top of that Ethernet link. So in this case, when a user uh, creates an IP packet on this side of the network and when this, this packet receives at this point or this, when this packet arrives at this point, in addition to this packet, the header which belongs to PPP protocol and one additional header which belongs to PPPoE header is added to this IP packet and then this pack complete packet travels through this Ethernet link from this network to this network. And now to configure this, three steps are required. The first step is we need to configure the dialer interface that is the virtual interface and we also need to configure a physical interface and then we need to provide a mechanism which should provide a mapping between the dialer interface and the physical interface. So on this slide, this is a typical configuration required on the client side of PPPoE. This is the first step that we are going to create a dialer interface. So interface dialer 3, this will create a dialer interface and this is dialer pool 1. Which is, which is needed to create a pool and in this case so see this is the configuration required the dialer interface and in addition to that we need to have some encapsulation PPP which will which will provide the encapsulation using PPP protocol and this is handshake, me handshake mechanism and this is the maximum transmit unit which is required to, to bound the maximum length of the packet and in addition to that this bar shows the physical interface and in this case we are using this gigabit ethernet physical interface and in this in addition to this this upper part of the figure shows that this interface dialer is a logical interface that is not the physical interface and this logical interface actually uses this physical interface and this logical interface has not been given any IP address but it will take the IP address from the other end of this PPPoE connections or this other connection will be some ISP and then the later part of this configuration on the physical part at the physical interface you see we have not provided any IP address to this physical interface because this physical interface will be used by this logical interface and this logical interface will get the IP address from some ISP this is the reason that we have written that IP address negotiated and one the most important part of this configuration is that this pool number this one and this pool number must match. If they will not match, then the configuration will not work. 